Greetings, family. Welcome to another In the Park series with Going Places with Jesus Ministries. I am Pastor Deandra Hilaire. We're talking about why should man fear God today? Why should man fear God? What is that even all about? It's, isn't God supposed to be a God of love? Isn't God supposed to be the great creator of the universe? Why should we fear him? Well, let's see what the Bible says because the Bible is the authority on God, right? So Proverbs 1 and verse 7 tells us, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So the fear of the Lord is connected to knowledge. What could that possibly mean? I'm going to tell you. When we're talking about the fear of the Lord, we're not talking about being afraid, deathly afraid. That's not what we're talking about. That's not what the Bible is talking about. I'm going to give you another scripture in a second. What it's talking about is when we fear the Lord, it pushes us to a place of wanting to get an understanding of who God is. Because God is a great God. He's the God of the universe. He created the heavens and the earth. He created the sun, the moon, and the stars. He created you and I. And so when we have that reverential fear of God, it brings us, it ushers us into a place where we want to seek to understand who he is. And as we begin to understand who he is, we begin to get that instruction. We begin to get that knowledge from him. And so how do we know that this is true? Because Proverbs 8 and 13 says, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogance and the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate and so God is telling us that when we fear him we also hate evil it brings us into a place where we hate evil why because God is separated from sin God can't sin God is the antithesis the opposite of sin and so when we have that fear of God that reverential fear of, of God we want to separate ourselves from sin we want to we want to we want to be on the we want to be in alignment with God. We want to be connected with God. Because God is great and he is he, he is a God of love. He does care. And so because he loves and because he cares, he knows the consequences of sin. And what are the consequences of sin? The consequences of sin is death. That's what, that's what the Bible says. It said the wages of sin is death. The earnings of sin. What is wages? It's your earnings. What do you earn from sin? You earn death. But what does the Bible then say? He, he adds a caveat. He adds a promise to that. The gift of God is eternal life. And so God said, listen, if you separate yourself from sin, if you hate evil, if you push away pride and arrogance and all those, all those evil things, jealousy, envy, uh, rage, malice, uh, if you separate yourself, greed from all of those sins, you, I'm going to give you the gift of eternal life. And so how do we separate ourselves from sin? Through his son, Jesus Christ. He's the only way that we can separate ourselves from sin. Because we were, what is the Bible said, we're born in sin, we're shaping in iniquity. But God doesn't hate us, but he hates sin. And so when we fear the Lord, when we have that reverential fear of the Lord, when we come, we come into that knowledge. And when we come into that knowledge, that knowledge leads us to Jesus. It leads us to a savior, that savior that was sent by God himself because he loved us so much to give us an opportunity to be separated from sin. And so for this, if you're here today, if you're watching us uh, today, tonight, whatever time that you're watching this broadcast, and you want to have that connection with God, you want to have that opportunity to get to know God better, to come into that knowledge of God, then pray this prayer. Pray this prayer below with me today. Father, I know I'm a sinner. I know I've fallen short of your glory. I know that my ways displease you. I confess my sins to you today, Lord. Come into my heart. Come into my life today. I confess.
confess that your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross and rose on the third day. I believe it. Save me. I surrender my life to you. In Jesus' name. If you prayed this prayer with me today, you are a born-again believer. That's what the Bible says. If you prayed and you believe it, that's what the Bible says. You're a born-again believer. We celebrate with you. We invite you to send us an email, reach out, connect to us, or connect to a local church and get to know who God is. We thank you for watching another amazing In the Park series here at Going Places with Jesus Ministries. We love you. Click like, subscribe, or, or post a comment. We want to hear from you. We're praying for you. We love you. And we pray that you have a blessed, 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 blessed rest of your time.